Ron Caporelli here for LifeScript.com. It's the age-old medical question, how do you cure the common cold? Dr. Travis Stork from the hit TV show The Doctors has some ideas that might just surprise you. Dr. Stork sat down with us recently and recommended some old-fashioned remedies over high-tech medicine. Take a look. There are certainly things that you can do that are natural, and I'm, I'm not big on supplements, number one. Um, there's not a lot of data that they work. But I am a big fan of, look, if you have a particular soup that makes you feel better when you're sick or, or you want to use it in the winter and it's full of veggies and antioxidants, go for it. We know that honey can be a nice natural cough suppressant. One of the recent studies that came out showed that people who sleep less than five hours a night are four times as likely to get a cold. So sleep is a natural remedy. It doesn't always have to be a supplement or something you take. It can be an action. You know, a natural remedy can literally be an action you take. Uh, I'm a big believer, and this is my bias, I'm a big believer in nasal saline. People, a lot of people hate neti pots because of the, the, the work that goes through it, but just nasal saline during winter months, uh, just to keep your mucous membranes nice and moist, wash away allergens and, and potential viruses, I'm a big fan of that. But if you're going to take a supplement, just be sure you're not taking something that could harm you and understand that almost every supplement out there, there's no real proof that it decreases the duration of a cold or the flu or that it prevents you from getting one. I think the best thing that we can learn from these old treatments is that they were, they were harmless treatments that probably weren't curing anything, but they were giving your body time to cure itself. Nowadays, we get a cold and next thing you know, we're at the doctor begging for an antibiotic and we overtreat. We overtreat so many illnesses in this country and most get better on their own. And so I, I grew up, my mom put Raleigh's ointment on my chest every time I got a cold. And to this day, it, there's a jar in my house. And does it cure a cold? No. But I wasn't taking antibiotics. I wasn't. So, I think that there's a lot to be said for some of these elixirs that don't cause harm, that for whatever reason they make you feel better. And if it avoids you getting unnecessary treatment, like unnecessary antibiotics, I'm all for it.